Hello, um, I'm going to be talking about uh, Fanny Crosby, someone I did a little research on, and I'm still feeling a little bit under the weather, so my apologies if I cough in the middle of it. Um, Fanny Crosby was born on March 24th, uh, 1820, and she died on February 12th, 1915. While living on this earth, Fanny wrote over 9,000 hymns, and some of the hymns would be more popular in Christianity. Um, something that I found about Fanny Cosby that was super interesting to me is that she was known as the queen of gospel songwriters. And I thought that was just so cool. Like, imagine what it would be like to be the queen of gospel songwriters. Like, I just found that to be so cool. Um, she was also a household name. Um, the most amazing thing about her accomplishment is that she did all of these things while she was blind. Um, I think... You know, back in those times, um, disabilities and things like that wouldn't stop people from doing what they want compared to now, maybe. Like, you don't see a lot of famous blind people or deaf people really anymore compared to back then. I found that interesting as well. Um, Fanny was also, or sorry, she also enjoyed poetry and she wrote a lot of poems. Um, Fanny published four books and had two of the best-selling autobiographies. She wrote some famous hymns that are called Blessed Assurance, Jesus Tenderly Calling You Home, and To God Be the Glory. Um, Fanny left an impact with the time she was alive and even after uh, passing her hymns and poems and public speaking, they stayed famous. They stayed, um, they stayed relevant. And, you know, I've never heard of any of these songs before I researched her. But I just thought she was ama an amazing lady, and I think the fact that she was blind and it didn't stop her from doing what she loved, like, I just think that she's so inspirational, and I'm so glad that I was able to study Fanny Cosby.